Hello there. This is Rob from MariaDB. Today I'd like to let you know about a new piece of functionality available within MariaDB 10.6. Now, you may already be familiar with JSON support and JSON functionality that's been available within MariaDB since 10.2. But since then, we've been working diligently to keep adding innovations to our JSON functionality and capabilities within MariaDB. And today I'd like to talk to you about a new function which allows you to take JSON information and be able to return that in a tabular format. So let's first start by taking a look at some simple JSON information here on this left hand side where I've defined things like ID, first name, last name, and email of a person, specifically myself. And what this is going to allow me to do is take this JSON information and then use it within a MariaDB JSON function. Now, for those of you who may not necessarily know or maybe just need a refresher, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And it's a very great, flexible way that you can be able to both store and transport information using a text format, in this case named JSON, right, where you can define the pieces of information that exist with inside of this data, or also known as a JSON document. Now, in order to take this information and be able to return it as a table or in tabular format through MariaDB, we actually need to take it and input this JSON document into a new function called JSON table. Now, on the right-hand side, we can see what this would look like after we've constructed a query. But of course, we're going to dive into the different pieces which make this possible. First, you can see in the bolded area here that I have a function called JSON underscore table. And the JSON underscore table function takes a variety of different values that it will use in order to be able to construct the information in a tabular format. First, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to input the specific JSON data or JSON document into the JSON table function. Now, I've done this directly through a hard-coded string that I've added, and you can certainly do it that way. However, you could just as easily join to a table that exists in MariaDB that already supports JSON information and be able to add it into that. Next, you want to specify within the JSON table function where you want to start within the JSON document that you've inputted to be able to start parsing through the information. And for this, I've used a very simple path of dollar sign, which just indicates that I want to start from the root. However, you could become or create more complex paths in order to be able to more specifically target information that may be nested within your JSON document. From there, I want to take a look at the JSON properties, so the actual data that exists inside of the JSON document itself, things like ID, first name, last name, and email. And I'm going to use the columns keyword to specify the collection of columns that I'm mapping the JSON property information of into a tabular format. So as you can see with inside of the columns keyword, I've specified the name, of the particular column that I want to create, a data type, whether it be int or var car. And then I'm using the path keyword to indicate that then I want to follow up using a string similar to how I actually looked at the JSON data in the second parameter I added. I want to go ahead and take a look at a particular property. Now, this can be done on a particular property. It could be done on an object as a whole within the JSON document or even arrays. But note that I've just used a very simple example here. And after all of this, I can go ahead and close it with a parentheses and give it an alias as a person or naming it the table that has resulted from the JSON table function. When I execute the statement, which is simply a select star from this new JSON table, which is taking the JSON information again, and it's turning it into tabular information or a tabular format, I'll receive the result as you see here at the bottom. Now, this is a very simple example that I've used to just very quickly illustrate what JSON table can be used for and how in a very simple way you can actually use it. However, 
there are a variety of different options and different knobs and buttons that you can press within the JSON table functionality that allow you to take a look at things like arrays or even nested objects in arrays. And I highly encourage you to go ahead and take a look at our official documentation to check this out. Now, if you'd like to receive or learn about more MariaDB functionality, including what we have for JSON, I highly encourage you to go and visit mariadb.com slash developers. There you can find a variety of tutorials, blog posts, webinars, and even videos like you're watching today that will give you more information on not only things like JSON functionality, but looking at different workloads and different languages and ecosystems that you can use within the MariaDB ecosystem and platform. So I would like to thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more.